We are going to multiply a one digit number by a two digit number using the area model. So I first want to break apart or decompose my two digit, two digit number based on its place value. So I know the two is in the tens place and it represents 20 and the sevens in the ones place and it represents seven. So now I know that. So I'm going to draw my rectangle I know this first factor represents my rows, so I'm going to write the 4 over here. The second factor is 27, but remember we broke it up into 20 and 7. So I'm going to partition the rectangle here, and I'm going to place the 20 on this side and the 7 on this side. You can put the plus sign there. Eventually, students will stop writing the plus sign, but they, un they should understand that first section represents 20 from the 27, and the second section represents 7 from the 27. So I'm just going to multiply them in their parts, how they are. So 4 rows of 20, and then 4 rows of 7. This makes it easier for me to multiply this two-digit number, because I don't know 4 times 27 right away, but I know 4 times 20 is 80, because 4 times 2 would be 8, and 20 is 10 times greater than 2, so then my product is 80. And then I know 4 times 7 is 28. At this point, when I'm using or when I'm telling students to use this strategy, they know their facts at this point. They should know or they should know a strategy of using their facts. So now I have part of my product here and part of my product here. So just like I needed to join these tens and ones back together to make 27, I need to join those products together to make my total number. So I'm going to take 80 and 28, add them together. So my total product is 108. We multiplied a one-digit number by a two-digit number using the area model. We're going to multiply a two-digit number by a one-digit number. A lot of students get comfortable with the one-digit number coming first and then the two-digit number, and they get a little scared when the factors are switched. So showing them that they go through the same process is just a little bit different, they'll still arrive at that same product. So we're going to draw the rectangle again. This time the side lengths are going to be longer. And the top and bottom are going to be shorter to represent the 4. So I want to decompose that 27 by place value again. You can decompose the numbers in different ways, but an easier way to show students or to start off is just based on the number of 10s and the number of 1s. So we have 20 here and 7 here. And then we're going to have the four rows here. So this is a little close. I don't want anyone to get confused. So we have the 20 and the 7. Okay, so 20 rows of 4 and 7 rows of 4. So I know 2 times 4 is 8, but 20 is 10 times greater than 2. So my product is going to be 10 times greater than 8. And 7 times 4, I know, is 28. So this is part of the product, and this is part of the product. We need to join those products together. When we're joining them, we are adding 8 1s and 10 10, so 108. Our product is 108. We multiplied a two-digit number by a one-digit number using the area model. 